Astoria High School hosted the sectional finals Friday, March 2nd. This game saw the New the Blue Jackets number one seed fight off the Hopewell Loudon Chieftains to take the sectional title. From the tip off to the final buzzer, the lead changed hands back and forth and it was anybody's victory right up to the very end. In double figures for the Chieftains was Logan Sunnaball with 15 points, Alec Gregg with 12, and Eric Depinet with 11. Leading the Jackets in scoring was Cody Kinn with 21 and Brandon Reinhardt with 17. Final minutes of the game found both teams at the foul line. New Riggle came out ahead behind the shooting of Cody Kinn. The team now advances to district play, which will be held at Lakota High School Tuesday evening. New Riggle will face Toledo Christian. a little bit of mixture, I thought, out there. Um, they started really running with us so for a good part of that game, which is kind of a surprise. They did a nice job. They just, I don't know what they shot in there. They, they played hard. Uh, um, of course, turnovers really killed us out there. I thought we uh, were undisciplined offensively at times. On this team, we don't have many individuals that worry about whose night it is or um, who gets the stats for the night. It's just all about, you know, if we come out with a victory, it's team victory. Yes, yeah, so anytime you can win, especially against a team that played this hard, played very emotional against them. In the second game at Fostoria, it was Calvert 17-4 versus Old Fort 14-8. Earlier in the season, the Senecas had bested Old Fort by seven points, but the Stockaders were not about to go away. Behind the inside and outside game with Dalton Perry, they gave the Senecas everything they could handle. Old Fort took the early lead, 23 to 13, and at halftime, the Stockaders were still edging the Senecas 33 to 29. In the second half, Nick Lerman showed why he was the MAL Player of the Year, scoring nine consecutive points. Senior Ben Nielsen also contributed heavily to the game, adding 17 rebounds and 18 total points. At the end of the game, it was Warneman and Ritzler stepping to the foul line to ice the victory. Our guys played well tonight, um, battled, um, good senior leadership, a lot of experience coming back. Pulled it through down there in the fourth quarter, and the Crunch has made some big plays for, at both ends of the floor. I thought if we kept it up and down a little bit, because they, they exert a lot of energy on uh, on Wednesday night when they played St. Wendell. So I thought we just needed to get a tempo and just execute at both ends, and uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of that in the second half.